Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this video. We're going to learn how to tell the time. En este video vamos a aprender a decir la hora en inglés. So, let's get started, guys. Just a quick remind from um, some words. Um, hands. The clock hands. Las manecillas del reloj. Remember, the shortest is to tell, uh, is used to tell the hour, the hour, and the longest is used to tell the minutes. La más larga la vamos a utilizar para decir los minutos y la más corta la vamos a utilizar para decir la hora. Okay, so let's get started, guys. Okay, so I'm going to place the minutes, the, the hour hand over here and the minutes over here, we're going to start. So, what time is it here? here? What time is it? Um, here, tres en punto, in English, three o'clock. So, when the time is sharp, when it's la hora en punto, we say o'clock. We use the word o'clock, guys, okay? So, uh, let's continue. Um, just a quick remind of the numbers, which is really, really important. Okay, guys, so the quick reminder, a reminder is about the numbers. The numbers, it's really easy. Uh, from 5 to 5, guys. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Well, we, we never say 60, we say o'clock. Okay, no, nunca decimos eh, 60, sino que decimos eh, en punto, ¿cierto? La hora en punto. All right, guys. So let's get started. This is the hand for the hour, and this is the hand for uh, the minutes, los minutos. Okay. So what time is it here? It's two o'clock. What time is it here? It's three o'clock. What time is it here? It's six o'clock. Okay. What time is it? Here, it's nine o'clock, okay? Simple as that, guys. Así es simple, simple as that. Okay, so let's move the minutes. Vamos a mover entonces los minutos. Right here, so what time is it? Right here, so five. Vamos a contar entonces los minutos que pasan. Vamos a utilizar la palabra past, past, and here it will be three, it's five past three, okay? It's five past three. Three is the hour and five are uh, the minutes, okay? Let's continue, guys. What time is it here? What time is it? ¿Qué hora sería acá? What time is it? So it's 20 past three, 20 past three, okay? Is it clear? All right, guys. Now, what happens when we get the half? Llegamos a la mitad. Of course, we, we get the half. So, a half. A half past. Vamos a utilizar entonces la palabra a half. A half past. Okay? So, what time is it here? It's a half past three. Son las tres y media. A half past three. What time is it here, guys? It's a half past ten, las diez y media. What time is here? It's a half past twelve, son las doce y media, okay? Um, there's these uh, words that you can also use in, in Spanish English. It's almost the same thing, which is a.m. and p.m., okay? A.m. in the morning, a.m. in the morning, p.m. in... Um, at night, guys, okay? At the, at, in the evening, guys, okay? So that's it. Let's continue. Let's put it like this. Vamos a dejar entonces el, de la hora ahí, six, and let's move it. ¿Qué pasa después de las y medio? Vamos a utilizar la palabra tú. Vamos a utilizar la palabra tú. And, and para esto, entonces, vamos a tener en cuenta esto. Se cuentan los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora, okay? So we count... The minutes that left uh, from the uh, to the next hour. Vamos a contar los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora. So taking into account. Vamos a mover un poquitico el de la hora para que nos vaya dando. So what time is it? ¿Qué hora sería acá? Serían en español serían las seis y cuarenta. But in English it would be twenty twenty two seven. 
right? 22, 7, serían 20 minutos para las 7, 22, 7, ¿ok? Um, ¿Qué pasa cuando llegamos a las horas y cuarto? Entonces podemos utilizar acá, podemos entonces utilizar la palabra a quarter, a quarter, o podemos utilizar la palabra 15, it's also possible, entonces acá, in this case, so what time it would be, ¿qué hora sería en este momento? En español sería, faltan 15 para las 7 o las 6 y 45, entonces podemos decir, it's a quarter to 7, it's a quarter to 7, o it's 15 to 7, ok, that's also um, possible, guys, but Um, there's also possible to say it, it's 6.45, some people, uh, many people use it like this, it's also possible, so you can uh, say it like this, all right, what time is it here, what time is it, in Spanish it will be 10 para las 7, but in this case it would be 10 to 7, faltan 10 para las 7, 10 to 7 guys, okay. So, let's uh, use uh, the markers uh, right here, guys. Let's recap. Vamos a recapitular, entonces, rápidamente. What time... What time is it? It's four o'clock. Okay. It's four o'clock. Perfect. What time is it? What time is it? It's ten... Past four, okay? Remember, past is ten past four, okay? Perfect. What time is it? What time is it? It's a quarter past four. Or you can say it's fifteen past four. On some people can say it's four fifteen. Also possible. Also possible, but And keeping in mind, keeping in mind to say it in the um, English way, okay? What time is it here, guys? This is the hour and these are, this is the minutes. So what time is it? It's a half past five. A cinco y media, half past five. Okay. What time is it? In Spanish it would be 7.45 o 15 para las 8, so you can say it's a quarter to 8, a quarter to 8, or 15 to 8. Move it a little bit, vamos a moverlo otro poquito, so remember it's 10 to 8. 10 to 8, 10 para las 8, o oh, las 7 y 50, it could be 7 and 50. So guys, this is the way we say the, the, the time, we tell, sorry, we tell the time in English. Uh, remember these words, you can say, what time is it? What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Preguntan, ¿cierto? Se responde con esa partícula, it's. It's 10 to... Eight, for example, it. Y pueden utilizar obviamente las palabras a.m., p.m., a.m. in the morning, p.m. at nine, o in the evening, uh, or in the afternoon. That's also possible. Remember the words past and the word two and a half and a quarter. That's a very, very informa, uh, important information. And o'clock, la hora en punto, o'clock, okay?